Similar to how there is history in the real world, there is history in Mass Effect as well. On the Mass Effect wiki, someone compiled all the history that we've learned about Mass Effect from what we were told in the games, the codex entries, books, and from what the developers themselves have told us. And something that I thought would be a pretty cool idea would be to compare the Mass Effect history to our history. Now, the timeline for the universe in the Mass Effect goes all the way back to 1 billion BC. Humans recorded history doesn't start until around 3500 BC, but historians have been able to predict up to 200,000 BC and approximate what was happening using carbon dating and analyzing objects that were found by archaeologists. To start off though, let's talk about what happened in the Mass Effect timeline before 200,000 BC. Once we hit that though, we'll be able to compare our history to that of Mass Effect. The first race to dominate the galaxy were the Leviathans, who claimed that they were the first and only apex race. They fascinated every species that saw them and would offer them protection in return for tributes. The Leviathans watched the other races create synthetic life that consistently rebelled and would fight against their creators. Worried that their servants would wipe themselves out, the Leviathans created something called the Intelligence, which everyone knows better as the Catalyst. The intelligence was created to find a way to preserve organic life. As a way to do this, the intelligence created pawns, with the purpose to gather genetic information throughout the galaxy. Now, the intelligence had a different idea though. It decided to betray the leviathans and instead use its pawns to slaughter them for their genetic material, creating the first reaper, which was known as Harbinger. That would be the reason why the leviathans and the reapers look so similar. With the creation of Harbinger came the beginning of the cyclist harvest of the galaxy's intelligent organic life. Alongside creating the Reapers, the intelligence also created the mass relay network. This increased the speed and efficiency of the cycles, allowing races to develop faster and more consistently between harvesting cycles. Around this time, the Leviathan of Dis, which is a Reaper, is killed by the Leviathans. The body of the Reaper lands on the planet Jartar and remains there for a billion years undisturbed. An unknown race fires a mass accelerator round at a Reaper. The round goes through the Reaper and disabled it, causing it to float in space. It struck the planet Clendagon and created the geological feature known as the Great Rift Valley. An ancient race called the Arthen flourished in the Zelens system. They lived on the planet Helum until an unknown event wiped out all life on that planet. They did have a presence on other planets in that system, including the planet Epho, which has evidence of orbital bombardment, and Galen, which was the location of a complex mining infrastructure that mined for Helium-3. Now we hit that time where our history begins, and starting off with the first Homo sapien appearing in Africa. Not too long after that, the first Homo sapien bone that was found carbon dates back around this year, which is why archaeologists believe that humans have been around for about 5,000 years before that. Around this time, humans have begun wearing clothing. Now two races, the Thorhan and Insanon, battle over the planet Ingana. The fight covers the planets with debris and wreckage of hundreds of ships. Refined Element Zero scatters around contaminating the land around it and makes its way to the natives. This causes many of them to die, but those that survived begin showing signs of biotic powers. While this happens in Mass Effect, the Ice Age was at its peak for our history. In our timeline, a rainstorm lasting 30,000 years starts in Africa. This event is called Abasia Pluvial. The Toba Volcano super eruption occurs. This happens in Indonesia and causes a volcanic winter for roughly 10 years. And at this time, the earliest example of art appears in caves around Africa. Stones were engraved with grid or cross-hitched patterns. There weren't designs of animals or humans yet at this time. Protheans achieve spaceflight and discover Mass Effect technology from the extinct Ensenon. From there, they establish a galaxy-wide civilization linked by Mass Effect relays, and they create the Citadel to set as the capital. At some point, the Protheans encounter a hostile race of machine intelligence that threaten their existence. In an attempt to combat the new enemy, the Protheans combine other races throughout the galaxy to create the Prothean Empire. They successfully fight the machines and defeat them, 
This conflict is known as the Medicon War. Now in our timeline, a 20,000 year long rain period happened over Africa. This event is called the Moustirion Pluvial. Now heading back over to Mass Effect, with the appearance of the Reapers, the Prothean Empire starts to collapse. Despite the fact the Protheans knew and studied the Reapers before their appearance, they still could not prepare well enough to survive. Over the next several centuries, the Reapers and Prothean Empire fight throughout the galaxy, but in the end, the Reapers are victorious and the Protheans, alongside other races, are wiped out. The Reapers leave the galaxy waiting for the next cycle to begin. Now at this time, the earliest evidence is found of deep sea fishing technology at a cave in Australia. At this time, Homo neanderthalensis becomes extinct. The oldest figurative art, zoomorphic, is discovered, and using carbon dating, figured to have been made around the time 40,000 BC. The oldest known cave painting dates back to this time. Red dots and hand stencils of animals are drawn on walls of caves in Spain. And around here, we have the first implication of domestic dogs. Around here, New Guinea becomes populated with colonists from either Asia or Australia. Not too long after that, the oldest known pottery is made. This pottery was made to make figurines instead of being used for cooking or storage. And shortly after that is the first colonization of North America. Now jumping back over to Mass Effect, the Krogan homeworld to Chanka enters the nuclear age. In a global conflict, weapons of mass destruction are released, triggering a nuclear winter. Because of this long-lasting winter, the Krogan devolve into a collection of clans. A supernova propels the Mu Relay out of position. The Mu Relay was the only way to access the Pangaea Expanse. Concealed from the rest of the galaxy in the dense nebula that was formed by the supernova, the mass relay is left untouched for many centuries. Later though, the Rachni discover the relay. Around this time was the first evidence of domesticated animals such as sheep, pig, and goats. And here, the city of Jericho gets built. This is the oldest continuously inhabited city. A thousand years after that, many Ice Age animals go extinct, including the cave bear, cave lion, saber-toothed tiger, and the mammoth. Around here, the first evidence of copper smelting is found. Writing is invented, marking the beginning of what we call known history. This is also the time that the Egyptian calendar is invented. From there, we have the Bronze Age starting, the Great Pyramid of Giza is completed, the Shang destiny in China starts, and a fully written Chinese writing style is developed. The use of iron becomes more prevalent than that of copper. Greek cities start to appear, and the first Olympic game takes place at this time. After developing FTL capabilities, the Asari begin to explore the Mass Effect network. This leads them to the Citadel. At this time, Confucius is born. The Babylonian Empire falls. The Salarians discover the Citadel and form diplomatic relations with the Asari. This is the start of the Council. And lastly, democracy is created and first used in the city of Athens. Well, this is it for part one. We got to look at what the Mass Effect history looked like before the Council was created, and we got to see how our history lined up with it. The next video will cover all the events that happened in Mass Effect after the founding of the Council up to the year 2016, obviously. So what do you think about this? Does history fascinate you as much as it does me? Did any of this surprise you? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.